Hey YouTube fam, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, my name is Alyssa Marie, welcome. So today I am giving you guys a nice little update in my little natural hair regimen, I guess you could call it. I have been a co-wash girl ever since the beginning of my natural hair journey. At this point, I am about a little bit over two and a half years into my natural hair journey, so that's literally all that I've been using. And I don't know if it's because my hair has gone longer or whatever, but lately, I've just been noticing that my scalp is kind of crying out for a little bit of extra attention. So with that being said, I have been experimenting with some shampoos here and there. So I wanted to update you guys on how I'm feeling about shampoo now, which ones were a flop, which ones are great and get a pass for me. And yeah, just get into all of the shampoo details today. So before we do jump into all of that good stuff, please do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel if you like what you see. And also make sure that you hit that notification bell as well so you don't miss a new upload ever again. All right, let's get started. Okay, so y'all know I always like to keep it real on here 100% of the time. If I say something one time and then I end up changing my mind, I will always come back on here and let you guys know. So that's why I found it kind of important to update you guys in this video that I'm kind of coming around to shampoo, some shampoos. So you guys may have seen a video that I posted way back when, and if you know me, you just know that I'm a co-wash girl, okay? I did post a video saying why I never use shampoo and why I don't like it. And basically to summarize, it's because of the whole sudsing sodium laurel sulfate is actually really really bad not just for curly hair but hair in general especially if you're using it on a super consistent basis like we're talking one to two times a week like it's it's just horrible you guys can google it look it up I'll also link the video about that whole thing so if you want to hear a little bit more in depth on why I started off not liking shampoos at all I will link that up here and in the description box below for you guys to check out so I decided I actually kind of wanted to put it to the test and give it a try because I've gone so long with co-wash I know exactly how my hair reacts to that I know what to expect from my hair my hair loves it it stays moisturized and everything so now I had the opportunity to kind of try some shampoos here and there and be able to see if it actually made any kind of difference. Did I have more frizzy hair? Was my hair a little bit more drier? Like, did my curl definition not last? You know what I mean? So I have been testing shampoos here on the low. So one thing I did decide was that I was only going to be experimenting on sulfate-free shampoos because I did not want to use any of that super harsh sudsing from the sodium laurel sulfate. So the good thing is nowadays there are a ton of shampoos that are sulfate free so there are tons of options for you to choose from. So the first one, the first one, let's get into a little mini story time. The first sulfate free shampoo that I grabbed was this Wash Day Delight by Carol's Daughter. It sounded so delicious. The packaging is beautiful. I love the fact that it has this tip thing so you can really, really focus it onto your scalp. It's basically a water to foam shampoo so you can kind of see like how watery the product is. It's not your typical shampoo. So I really kind of thought, you know, this is really different, cutting edge. And like I really, really had high hopes for it. But y'all, y'all, I'm sorry to say that this frizzed out my hair like crazy. I got a wash day that I've never ever gotten from my hair ever in two years of being natural. Like it was, it was the worst. I did do some stories on Instagram, so you guys may have seen it there. I will include some clips here so you can see, but it was just a mess. It was a mess. My roots were so incredibly frizzy. I don't know if it completely just clarified or stripped my hair so bad and that's what caused it to be crazy, but it was actually a really noticeable difference that I was not expecting at all. My hair would not define. It was just, I was... I was shook in the worst way possible. And the crazy thing is that it is sulfate free, paraben free, there's no silicones, no artificial colors. Like, I really, I really thought this was gonna be it. This was gonna be my brand new shampoo that I absolutely love. And yeah, no, it was a complete, absolute flop. So after using this, I was like, nope, I'm not using shampoos, went back to co wash. But then I still kind of noticed a little bit of an issue with my scalp where I just, started noticing my scalp was getting more itchy more quickly. I don't know if it's because my hair is getting longer and because my hair is longer, I use a lot more product. And so obviously because I'm using more products in my hair, it's potentially causing more buildup on my scalp. So I was like, oh, you know, like maybe I should try another shampoo. Maybe I shouldn't give up here. But let me tell you, 
I was nervous because the results that I got from this was exactly why I decided that I didn't want to ever use shampoos ever in the first place. But I did end up continuing to experiment with some other shampoos and I'm happy to share with you guys that I have found four, it's really three shampoos because two of them are from the same brand, but four shampoos that are on my good list that I absolutely love. And at this stage, I'm using shampoo every other wash. So I'm alternating between co-wash, then on my next wash I go to shampoo, and then my next wash co-wash. And I find that that's really, really working with my hair. It's not being overly cleansed or stripped or anything. The shampoos that I'm about to share with you guys are so good. They've never frizzed out my hair. They've never over clarified it. And I feel like my curls and my scalp are genuinely a little bit happier this way. So if you guys have similar curls like mine, I have kind of already done a little bit of the experimentation for you. Definitely do not recommend this, but but I'm about to give y'all all the tea on the shampoos that I do love and would 100% recommend. All right, so first up, let's talk about the Shea Moisture Power Greens Shampoo. This is so lit. I'm actually gonna go ahead and pour it out in my hand to show you guys the consistency. Look at that, I'm barely even squeezing. Do you see how watery it is? I kind of really like that for some reason. I don't know. Like there's not really a specific reason why I kind of like that, but I like it. And even though the consistency is more on the watery side, it is still so juicy and delicious in your curls. It is great. You get that deep cleanse, but it's still very moisturizing, but then lightweight in consistency. I love it. This is actually the first shampoo that I used after my little mishap with this one. And this is actually the one that convinced me that, okay, there are some sulfate free shampoos out there that will be okay, that'll do what you need it to do, and you won't have to worry about frizzed out over cleansed curls this is it I love it so much I did do a campaign on Instagram with Shea Moisture on this entire power greens collection and I have to say that it is so so good there's also a hair rinse that comes in the collection and you're actually meant to use the shampoo then the hair rinse together and honestly I don't even know how it works but it just works really well this is like super cleansing and then the hair rinse on top makes it like soft somehow it's just it's just so, so good. I also really love the smell of this. It just smells really delicious and it's not a crazy overpowering smell. It just smells nice and clean and a little bit, like a teensy bit fruity, just a little bit of fruity in there, but it's, it's literally so good. It is also jam packed with all this great stuff like moringa, avocado, kale, matcha, and green algae. Like it's just got a whole bunch of superfoods in there that will really help to feed your curls as well. So I really, really love this. This is the shampoo that I actually reach for on the most frequent basis. So yeah, this is my number one top fave. If there's one shampoo that you purchase out of this entire video, it's gonna be this one, okay? Okay. Oh, I do wanna mention that when I am using shampoos, I am only focusing it on my scalp. So I literally pour it into my fingers, rub it like this, and then literally directly to my scalp. And then I just allow the product to kind of rinse through the rest of my curls as I'm washing it off of my scalp, and then that's it. I don't ever add any additional shampoo directly to the ends of my hair. It's really honestly your scalp that needs the focus when it's being cleansed. Once the suds are washing through, it's perfectly fine to kind of give the rest of your hair like a lighter cleanse. All right, so what else we got here? Evolve H. Okay, so this is a new brand that I've been trying. They sent me a bunch of their products and I was like, all right, I'm testing shampoos. Let me go ahead and try their Smart Curl Hydrating Wash. So, so good. It is creamy and just, it's really, really nice. This does have a slightly thicker consistency, but I still do really, really love it. And I just found that this felt actually pretty moisturizing in my curls and they actually felt pretty soft after using it. Packaging, again, on the back, it says no salt or parabens, no silicones or panthenol. I actually need to research that because I don't even know what that is. No phthalates, is that how we pronounce it? And it's also cruelty-free, sulfate-free, and vegan, so this is great. Y'all know how much I love to see that on packaging. Just straight up, boom, right there. You don't have to waste time reading their ingredients list. Like, it's all right there. We're good to go. Ooh, yes. Okay, so this kind of has one of those salon-grade kind of smells, you know, those that are like sweet and like fresh and clean but it smells like it's coming from a salon like that is the kind of scent in here it is so good another one that i 10 out of 10 recommend all right so next i got two shampoos by maui moisture i love both of these so much so we have the shine and owl Puhi shampoo for dull hair and then we have the fortifying hemp seed oil shampoo for dry and brittle hair both of these are so good i'm kind of 
Feeling like giving Mommy Moisture in general a pass? I mean, on their packaging, you can see it literally says in big and bold, sulfate-free surfactants in here. Surfactants? Surfactants, yes. But it's sulfate-free, so you don't have to worry about it. And again, I've tried and tested it, and it works really great. In terms of smell, oh, the Awapuhi, ooh, so good. It is like, kind of like a, almost like a peachy, fruity smell. It is a little bit on the stronger side, but I don't know, for shampoos, I feel like smell is pretty important, which is why I'm kind of smelling all of these for you here. It smells so, so good. I actually use the conditioner a lot. It's the same smell, and I really, really love actually mixing it in my DIY spray that I always use to refresh my curls. Again, it smells great, and that's something that you kind of want when you're cleansing or refreshing your curls. The hemp seed oil, I mean, it smells really good too, but it's a different kind of smell. It has that hemp smell to it, which is great too, but I feel like, I don't know, some people might like it, some people might not like it. I really like it. And again, the conditioner that goes with this is so good as well. I just really appreciate this stuff on the side of the packaging. No mineral oil, no silicones, no parabens, no gluten, no SLS, no synthetic dye, no ales. Like, it's all there. It's all right there. It tells you what it doesn't have, so it's great. You know, you can try it. So yeah, guys, that is my update, and these are my current favorite sulfate-free, safe, curly girl-friendly shampoos. What I'm actually gonna do is, I'm gonna have a blog post all set and ready with these four, but I'm also gonna continue to update my favorite shampoos on that list so that you guys can continue referring back to that blog post and see if there are any more shampoos that I have tried and have loved. As y'all know, I'm super picky and I do get a lot of products sent to me, so I'm happy to be the guinea pig, happy to do the experimentation. Y'all know I always keep it real, so I'll make sure to continue updating that blog list. I will link it in the description box below if you want to go check it out. I feel like shampoo is such kind of like a controversial thing within the natural hair community, so I'm actually kind of curious. Comment below and let me know, do you use shampoos or do you stay away from them completely like how I used to do? I'm trying to see something, so let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Bye!